Anyway, y'all, uh, I'm in this neighborhood and it looks so pretty. But I am lost, y'all. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, Eagle. Eagle Trace. I'm lost. I am lost. I'm work it out. It just looks so pretty and so peaceful, y'all. I just. I'll say that says golf. Okay, it's just so pretty. So peaceful looking. to get a little footage eventually i'll wind up where i need to be i don't even really stress about it no more y'all i just just get in my car make sure i got enough gas you know try to keep it full or half full you know, and just ride because that's how you learn you got to get out there sometime and just try to do what you can do and hope for the best i know i'm hoping for the best Hope I get home. <laughs> I will get home, guys. But just ride with me. It's just a peaceful little scenic neighborhood that I'm in right now. It's pretty. I think I'm coming up to a main road. Part that was not not pretty. I mean, even the hoods. It's just beautiful here. It's all to it. It's pretty. Yeah, I am sitting here getting my toes done, y'all, and <laughs> I just finished reading those comments, y'all. Hey, I can see that the majority is on my side now. Y'all must have had a man that that did the same thing to y'all, or. You know, something similar, because it, it seemed like, you know, the females, the majority of the females is understanding, you know, where I'm coming from now. Why is that, though? You know. Mm. But anyway. Because they needed it, because my toes were, they were shot, you know. It was, it was that thick skin, you know how when you know you need to get a pedicure because their skin gets so thick on your feet to the point where, where it started hurting. Mine was like that, guys. I had my little pumice rock and stuff in the, in the tub. And and it, it would work like for a day or two, but then I would feel that that, that hard skin build up. So I knew it was time. I'm just going to get my little pedicure. And that's what I'm doing. Which nail salon, but <laughs> remember, I was riding peaceful, showing y'all that where I was at, I was lost, but I found this place, so I'm glad. I'm gonna go ahead on and, and put that uh, gel polish on there. I think I'm gonna get the big toes with a design this time, y'all. I'll never get, I'll never get designs on my toes. So I'm gonna try with the big toes this time. So I think it's gonna look cute. It ain't time for these yet. It ain't time. Not yet. Yeah, y'all see, I put put my ring on this finger. Now y'all can really see it. I put it on this finger because I'm single, goddammit. And I bought this bitch. But I noticed in that live, he was real quick to say, show them your ring. Like, I know that nigga didn't think I was gonna let him take credit for this. I bought this all day. I did that. Okay, <laughs> but I said it when he said, show the people y'all right in that live, I, I said it then. I bought it. <laughs> he bought this. He did buy this. I give this little, little, little props. He bought this little Masonic symbol for me. Okay. Even though he said that this here went against his religion to purchase this for me. He said it went against his religion. Hold on, what the fuck? At least I got this. Okay, at least I got this, so. It is what it is, honey. 
But yes, I'm glad that's over, y'all. That's a wrap on that. I actually really have a taste for chicken, guys. I haven't eaten all day. But I do got a taste for some chicken, so maybe I'll find a chicken place somewhere. I think it's been a minute since I had some good fried chicken. So let me find somewhere, y'all. Stay tuned in, because that's what the next video is going to be about. Look at that, y'all. I'll get some footage of the people on their horses. Ain't that nice? Ain't that nice? And y'all, I'm going to hold traffic up, so let me get going. I just thought that was cute. The horses. Ooh, y'all. I'm glad to be sitting my butt down eating. I think that shea butter got my skin really shiny. I hope it worked. It don't take a lot of that, guys. Just a little bit of that. Um, shea butter, shea butter, shea butter, however you pronounce it. But it only a little bit is all it takes. And it, a little bit goes a long way. So far is keeping the dryness away from over here. But anyway, y'all, guess what I got? I got four wings, guys. So I just got two here and some mashed potatoes and gravy. So set it on my lap right here. Put some damn hot sauce on here. Wings and hot sauce. Whoa. Hot sauce on there, y'all. Okay. A little bit. Good. I know it's good because I'm hungry. Get y'all the first bite. Wings and hot sauce, yeah. From KFC. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I almost hungry. It's the first thing. Mm-hmm. Had to eat. Oh. And you know what? Let me tell y'all something. Well, wow, this man, Devin's supposed to be such a, a religious, holy person. When I was telling him, letting him know that, man, if I find out you lying... I'm going to out you. Okay. Y'all. This man said, I'm crazy. He did it just like that. Like with a little sinister smile and shit. Like, I'm crazy. And I told that motherfucker right back. And I'm crazy too. Now what? At least I'm crazy in my own spot now. You know, that man had to go find his spot or go home with his mama or whatever he do. But all I'm saying, hey, uh -uh. crazy. Yeah, I got it. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm. I mean, are people really that smart, though, when they outright know what type of person they're dealing with, what type of person that'll blast them out there if they get caught up in some stuff? Um, are they really that smart? Or just that think that they can just really put one over on, on somebody? I mean, you got to kind of think about it. It's not really being smart if you, someone telling you about a person and you go against that person that everybody's trying to warn you about. How smart can you really be or you wanted the attention? Uh, his little channel was just too small to, you know. Anyway, somebody asked me, hmm. What if Devin did a um, a tea video on you? I said, you know what? I hope he do it. Because it's only going to further prove how non-religious this man really is. So, good luck. <laughs> mm, that's all it's going to prove. 
that you mad and rather get back at me because I'm doing nothing but telling the truth. Okay, so you're going to follow suit and do what you see everybody else do. Okay, good luck with that is all I can say. Yeah, then there will be no doubt nowhere with anybody that this man is definitely a fake religious person, okay? Uh-huh. Because ain't no real religious man. I mean, if a real religious man got caught, got himself caught up or uh, busted out, exposed out, y'all, I think that he would go somewhere in hiding and maybe think about what he did to get himself in that position because that's what a smart person would do. You know, why you want to antagonize me so I can come back on your ass? I don't know. Think about that. Mm -hmm. You know what? Y'all, I got this little pedicure. Um, ever since she put the lotion on my legs, y'all know how they massage the bottom part of your legs and stuff? Yeah, I've been itching. I don't know what she put on me. I don't see nothing. That, well, it is real oily. Maybe, maybe that's what it is. It's too oily. Cause you know when it's get like oily like that. If anything, get on a piece of dust or hair at the edge. So maybe that's it. Hmm. Yeah. If dude came back and tried to do a T-video, yes, that would shut him down as far as being a religious leader or teacher or whatever the hell he want to call himself. It sure would. There would be no doubt in nobody's mind after that. Fraud. Mm -hmm. Mm. And I hate to tell y'all this, but I'm getting full. I'm getting full. I am. Mm. I'm bored. <laughs> well, for now, for now, y'all. I mean, I'm gonna come back and get my little chicken. You know, I got two more pieces in here. Put this third piece back up in there. They gave me a biscuit that I'm, I'm not gonna eat, but I got me three more wings up in there. I'm gonna eat them a little bit later. A little bit later. So, y'all. Yeah, in the meantime, Mm. Fruit punch is good, y'all. So, let me go ahead and put this up real quick, okay, y'all? Now, I just want to say, ladies, be careful out there once again. I'm going to keep reiterating my experience because maybe somebody out there can get something from it. You know, just be careful for the women that, that's out there that's dating and stuff like that. Be careful, guys. Um, somebody left me a comment and said that maybe I should meet these people somewhere instead of let them come here. You, you get no fight from me. Um, yeah, I, I think that's a good idea. Um, because like I said, when a person know where you live, but you have no clue as to where they live, that's a problem. So, I don't remember who left the comment, but whoever you are, good advice. And I'm going to take heed to what you're saying, okay? So, all right, guys, I'm going to be getting out of here. You know, I'll probably see y'all. No probably to it. I will see y'all. <laughs> 
tomorrow. Y'all know how I do. If it's something super juicy or I just got a lot, lot more content than I intended to have, I will drop two videos in a day, uh, preferably one in the morning, but sometimes it just don't work out that way. And that morning one end up coming in the afternoon like like my one for today. This, well, it's, it's, it's not gonna be today by the time this come out, but you understand what I'm saying. You get off schedule sometime. So I'm recording this video. This is gonna be the first video y'all see in the morning. Okay, so just know another video coming later. All right, I just wanna thank everybody for watching me eat my little one piece of chicken. Uh, thank you, and hot sauce, thank you. <laughs> Bye, everybody. Okay, real quick, guys, I wanted to, to bring this up, you know, just to get some feedback from you all. You know, y'all let me know what y'all think about what I'm about to say. What I found a bit suspicious, too, about Devin was he's supposed to be this religious person, okay? Supposedly, guys. But on at least three, three now, on at least three separate occasions, I caught dude bringing up the comments, the bad, the negative comments that people had sent to me. It's almost as if he took joy, took some type of personal joy in it. And I'm going to tell y'all, when I brought it to his attention, I said, dude, you know, this is like the third time you've done this. I said, dude, I've done drama. This is what I do. Like, I know how this is going to end and play out. You don't. You're new to this. And he did say, well, I'm new to it, but he just was so addicted, okay, to the comments. He said out of his own mouth, he would be holding up the congregation, sitting in his car, reading my comments while they're telling him to come on. He would be making them wait, reading my comments. Does that sound right? Because it sounds obsessive and it sounds way off to me. But he did say he was getting obsessed with the comments, though. He said it out of his own mouth. For the people that don't believe me, y'all go over to his channel and ask him. He said that he was getting way too absorbed in my comments. So, don't y'all just think that's kind of, you know, off, you know. You the pastor, man. Why are you so absorbed in negativity? Huh? Something don't make sense with that. He apologized and he was like, wow, I didn't even recognize his excuse for everything. Typical nigga. Um, he didn't recognize he was doing that, but have done it on three separate occasions. I recognize it because I'm going to realize when the person keep bringing up the same thing, especially if it's negative. I'm going to notice it right away. And I did. Had to bring it to his attention. So, yeah, just thought that was weird. Let me know what y'all think about that. So, it just make me think, you know, that the men... A lot of them are just low-key haters. I mean, I, I really can't place it, you know, to uh, say anything else about that, y'all. I, I think they could be, you know, just low-key haters. <laughs> because ain't nobody going to obsess for nobody shit like that unless it's something there, y'all. And that's all suspect to me, period.